Okay guys, so I received this message or this comment from one of you, um, LJ, LJ, uh, and she said, or he said, another YouTuber has put it out that Harry is in Lisbon, Portugal, where Eugenie and family have a place there as they relocated there months before. As we know, Eugenie with her husband, they moved to Portugal because of their job purposes and they left the British monarchy and some of the actually report I will read it to you in a second they claimed that Eugenie ditched uh, UK British royal family just like Harry did and Meghan new developments quote unquote to be announced in the horizon what is happening we know there is this rumor that Harry Meghan split they are now in the process of getting divorced I do not believe that story. Nevertheless, these rumors are there. And as you can see yourself, this comment was written from one of you saying that this could be possible. This is another comment. Uh, same thing. Harry is living in Lisbon in Portugal with his cousin and her husband. He is not going back to the snake wife. Is this true? What is happening? Let's talk about that. Back in June, this article was written this year, 2022. It was reported Princess, Princess Eugenie in shock move to Portugal as Harry and Meghan prepare for Frogmore return. Obviously, that did not happen. Again, as I said, this news is from June 2022. Today is November. So no, that did not happen. Harry and Meghan did not return to the Frogmore cottage. That was never actually a possibility because Meghan would not let Harry do that. Princess Eugenie has moved to a second home in Portugal after her husband, um, Jack Brooksbank, had landed a job with a business partner of George Clooney. So they moved there back in June and they are going to be living a very nice life. They are happy with that choice. They are not coming back anytime soon. So people are saying that because Eugenie, Princess Eugenie, she is there, Harry decided to follow her and go to Portugal and get rid of Meghan Markle altogether. The luxurious Costa Terra Golf and Ocean Club is the Royals' new home along with Jack and one-year-old son, August. Am I saying it Jack or Jake? I think it's Jack. Uh, the couple will reportedly be splitting their time between the UK and fashionable Lisbon coast. So again, they are not abandoning uk they will come be coming back and forth but now they are living in portugal this report was circulated in uh, may of this year again harry megan princess eugenie's portugal move could mean uk return for such success again that did not happen eugenie moved there harry megan did not go to uk because people will say oh the frogmore cottage is empty now so harry and megan should be moving there no that did not happen Princess Eugenie has relocated to sunny Portugal after her husband found a job. He landed a job. So same report coming in June, coming in May means it was followed by the media quite intensely. Now, before we talk about more the recent rumor about Harry Meghan split, I want to point out very important thing. This member of the royal family means Princess Eugenie is following in Harry's footsteps and leaving the UK. You know, the media can be so fake. The way they are writing this, you know, as if the entire British monarch family is leaving one another, is, is dissolving, right? It's being pulverized. Well, this is the impression you get when you read this kind of news that somebody's following the footstep of Harry. Like Eugene is following Harry's footstep. No, they are completely different family. They have completely different reasons to leave the family. This is insane. Prince Harry Meghan Markle stepped down as senior members of the royal family in the early 2020s and shortly after announcing their decision to the world, they moved to US. Yeah, this is uh, you know what they all have to say. Few things I want to make mention of why this is not a possibility that Hagen, Hagen, I, th I think that's a good name, Hagen, and uh, Meghan, Hagen and Meghan would leave the partnership or the marriage the number one reason for that is according to one person actually wrote on in this uh, channel that if you divorce your wife or your husband then it will be split in two the entire asset the properties will be given half to the wife and half to the husband according to the californian law if harry has to do this well he will go broke temporarily like 
broke in you know big big way because he doesn't have billions of dollars and the money that was promised to him by netflix was not given to him so if he does uh, split with megan obviously megan is going to take half of his wealth and that will render harry completely broke and this is why i believe the split the divorce is not taking place number two reason is because megan we all know she is a narcissist narcissist people they do not let their partner go that easily okay they beg, they cling on to them so much. Meghan Markle, the personality she has, you know, all us calling Harry, my husband, kissing, hugging, touching. I don't think this is a normal behavior. It's, a, it's not a behavior of a person who is emotionally stable. So if Harry decides to leave, Meghan will freak out and she will act insane. And this is exactly what was reported in many YouTube channels, many web pages, articles that said that Megan was actually throwing stuff dishes on the wall in Montecito. She was crying. She was screaming. And you know what? I kind of believe that story. So no, looking at this behavior, looking at what we found out about Megan Markle, her behavior, her emotional instability, her narcissistic behavior, I can conclude that no, Harry is did not leave Megan. It is not going to be that easy. Number four reason why this uh, will not happen that Harry will leave Megan is because Harry is very, very dependable on Megan. He depends on her. Like as I said, fish depends on water to survive. He is someone who we have seen how he was putting Megan at the front line, you know, when it comes to taking responsibility or even taking criticism from the family members. He, he would always use Megan. He would always put her. Uh, you know push her to the front and and be like yeah you take all the assault you take all the blame i need you because i cannot handle this so no for even harry to make a decision like that yeah i'm gonna divorce megan not gonna happen because he is very much dependent on megan markle whether it is the criticism that he's using megan sometimes as a buffer zone or whether it is the financial matters the kids whatever it is megan markle is somebody Harry cannot afford to lose. He needs her all the time. Number four point is very obvious. Will Eugenie take Harry? If she does take Harry, I mean, let's say Harry, yeah, she, he did leave uh, Megan and went to Portugal. Let's say for the sake of argument, would he be accepted by Eugenie? I don't think so. Would be trashed by Megan, number one. Number two is the British royal family. They would not like Eugenie even more. Right now, Eugenie is a very good friend with Meghan Markle and the British monarch, they do not like it. If she takes Harry back, she will be under fire from Meghan and also the British royal family. So I don't think it's wise for Eugenie, for her brand, for her publicity, for her image to take Harry just like that and be like, yeah, you're welcome anytime. You want to split? Yeah, come. You know, so because this is how people will say, you know, and this is when they will say, oh, you, you know what? Eugenie is actually rewarding bad decisions of Harry. Number five point is that Harry, if he does leave Meghan Markle, he's never going to see his kids ever again. Forget about, you know, having a relationship with them. Forget about taking them to UK. He will not be allowed to even come to US and see the kids just like that. He would have to go to the court, the custody battle, and Meghan Markle will make his life hell. So Harry knows it, that my wife is a narcissist. She's crazy enough. She is not going to let me see my kids. So, you know, I don't think even for that reason, Harry would think that, it's a good idea to leave Megan Markle. Finally, guys, I want to share this story, this comment um, somebody wrote. I'm not going to be disclosing the name. However, if you have any story that you want me to share with the rest of you, let me write. Uh, let me know. Uh, write to me, and I will definitely show this. Uh, you know, share the story with the other people uh, if that helps and um, create awareness. Number uh, one thing that I have noticed here is that the person she said basically, I'm 62 years um, old very outgoing in all my younger years i just sat at a bus stop and people would come up to me and tell me their whole life story my kids would say do you know them i no i don't i no i didn't not as much now so i'm hiding the name here because i do not know if this person wants me to share her name i if you want me to share your name you can let me know again see uh, number one thing that i noticed is that this person she used to be favored or being noticed by so many people but all of a sudden she said that now that i'm 62 years old people don't really uh, pay much attention as to what i have to say and i agree with that because a lot of the time when you become older it is 
you know, much harder to strike up a conversation with anybody. I can say for myself, because I was living in a foreign country, as I mentioned in my other video, it was very hard to kind of like, you know, get, get along with a lot of people. But especially like when you are becoming older in age, it gets very, very lonely sometimes. So we need to create awareness so that we can help out each other, share our story and know that you are not alone in this. We are with you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.